How are you going? You know how sometimes you're at the self-service checkout in the supermarket and you accidentally select two kilos of carrots instead of scanning two kilos of filled eye steak? Well, I've got some news for you. It turns out that is a crime. And if you do this, the place you and I deserve to be is prison. And we love locking people up in prisons. We've got the slammer, the country club, the fortress. Across the world, there are over 10.3 million prisoners, which is more than the population of Sweden. Which is incredibly sad, but what's even sadder is that we haven't locked up Sweden. So, here are my top three prison hacks if you ever find yourself locked up for a crime you didn't really think was that bad. Oh, and, yeah, and you're also in a prison that for some reason lets you watch YouTube. Prisons around the world are designed to deprive people of basic rights and any form of mental stimulation. So prisoners often come up with extremely creative and innovative ways to distract themselves from their mundane, cold, hard cells. For example, this boy, Robert Stroud, who was better known as the Birdman of Alcatraz, was in prison for murdering a bartender after he failed to pay a prostitute. And that's actually my first tip, always pay prostitutes. Robert was extremely fascinated by birds and experimented with them a lot, and eventually he found a cure for septicemia. Tip 1. How to make hooch. This first life hack isn't just for people that want to forget they're in prison. Whether you live in a remote Australian town in which alcohol is banned, or you're a college student who is into fermented stuff and also wants to get dangerously drunk, then this is the tip for you. So the first thing you need are some oranges. You need a lot. Like, I want you to imagine you're a soccer mum that is slicing up oranges for her under 11 soccer team. Except they're actually the under 45s and they have a drug and alcohol problem. Oi ref, this is bullshit. Oi ref, my son hasn't received the ball in like five minutes. So grab your oranges and any other fruit you can scavenge, like an apple or a carrot for fun, because I've never heard of carrot alcohol before. And um, peel all of them. And it tastes better if you can get the peel off the orange in one go. Then chuck them in a watertight bag or some container. Next, grab anything with lots of artificial sugar, like these peaches in syrup or this jar of artificial sugar and dump in a good amount. I presume people in prison don't measure things, so I'm not going to either. And the last ingredient is bread. I don't really know why, but I assume it's because the people that wrote this list on the internet thought bread has live yeast in it, which I'm not sure it does, but I'm gonna follow it. Now chuck it all in a bag and give it a good squish. And this smells and looks like I've had a big Saturday night. And I'm not looking forward to leaving this to ferment for a week and then having to drink it. So tuck it away in a nice warm spot, like under some towels or in the toilet. I'm gonna keep mine in bed with me, where it's nice and warm. Then make sure to check on it every couple of days and release some of the gas, giving it a good burp. Otherwise the bag will explode everywhere, all over your new, nice silk 200 fiber bed sheets. And of course, this isn't an instant reward kind of life hack. It's an investment, because after a week, you get a bucket of the most thirst quenching vomit you have ever seen. So just drain it through a sieve and let's give it a taste test. All right, here we go. So I thought we would drink this outside, which is a nice contrast from the kind of normal place you'll drink it's this. It's not a, not a bad prison. Oh no, thank you've you. You've got me in. Thank you, thank you. Now, have you ever had prison alcohol before? Uh, not out of a wine glass. Not out of a wine not glass? Not out of a wine glass. Okay, Last nice. time I had... Well, you're in for a treat then. You're in for a treat. Fantastic. Okay. Do you cheese in prison? You know, I think you do one of these ones. Um, it tastes like orange juice, which has been left in the car for too long. You've had that before? Yeah, as a kid, I think. That's ten it. is the best alcohol. Ten is the best, one is the worst. Like, one is like goon in a car park, ten is like... Well, like, goon would be up in the ten for me, so I'd oh, say well, okay. this would be about... It's not bad, it's a four. A four? That's I wouldn't drink good. it out of choice. Uh, there's lots of things I'd choose above it. But if you were in prison, would you drink if it? If, if I was in prison, I would definitely drink it. Yeah, that's, that's good enough, I guess it is. Prison. I would happily drink prison it. Prison alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> um, is this safe for me to drink? Well, there, it says that there is a chance you can get botulism from drinking it. But I mean, 
uh, makes uh, it more exciting. Exactly, what, what a little dr- bit. What drink doesn't have botulism? And I think botulism is the stuff that gives you Botox as well, and celebrities look beautiful, so... So I'm going to come out of prison looking even better. Exactly. Nice. Why do you think OJ Simpson's so beautiful? Ah, though? exactly. <laughs> beautiful man. Do you think I don't any- want to drink anymore. No. <laughs> and it is disgusting, but it's cheap, strong, and a good way to forget you're serving life without parole. And if you're in college, you could totally market this as some kind of magic fermented juice. You could call it Hoochie Mama and sell it for like $10 a pop. So there you go. Spread it around the prison yard and make some friends. So it turns out carrot doesn't ferment well in hooch and you just gave half your cellmates the runs and now you need a way to protect yourself. So this is the life hack for you. I'm going to be making this legitimate terrifying razor whip that was found around 1996 in Santa Fu Jail in Hamburg, Germany. It was made by an inmate who was attempting to extort a higher methadone ration by threatening a female prison officer with it. So all you're going to need to make this death whip are the cheapest razor blades you can find, a shoelace, and a stick. And I really recommend taking the lace off the shoe before you tie on the razor blades. So I bought these El Cheapo razor blades as I thought this is what you were most likely to get in prison. Also, I'm cheap. So I'm going to break apart these men's single-use razors and then attempt to tie the blade onto the rope. And this already seems like a stupid idea. Like this is going to take a while. I got this from six razor blades. Like, how do you get this many razors? Do you just run around stealing all your inmates? That seems like a really great way to start a prison riot filled with very angry, very hairy men. Oh, someone's gone and broken all the razors. Jesus Christ. This whole prison thing's so overrated. I fucking hate prison. So let's just tie them on in a similar fashion to the picture. And then tie it onto the end of the stick. And there you go. This is absolutely terrifying. I'm scared just holding it. Like, what happens if a breeze picks it up? It'll just slice through me. Although I guess you don't have much of a breeze in prison, so you're all right. All right, let's test its damage. And I'm going to be testing it on this cucumber, which I've placed in a vice, which is actually a very common scenario in prisons. And I'm just going to give it a good old whip. And as you can see, I'm not the best at whipping cucumbers. And I wasn't that happy with the damage. But after watching the slow-mo, I think it would work a lot better if I threaded the razors onto the lace, running the same way as the rope. And also, just for fun, I'm going to put a big razor on the end. And look, this works a lot better. You can see as it wraps around, and then when you pull it back, it cuts through the cucumber. And I think this would be extremely effective if you manage to wrap it around a fellow inmate's cucumber. But I still can't imagine using this in an actual prison fight. But just to be certain, I'm going to try it out on this much tougher carrot. And I managed to cut myself. And I reckon this actually makes a great intimidation device because people would see you cut yourself and think this bloke is crazy. I'm not going anywhere near him. Now tip number three. Now that you have successfully intimidated everyone by poisoning them and then threatening to cut yourself up with a razor whip, I would imagine that you were the big boss in prison and everyone's gonna be trying to please you by offering you gifts and cigarettes. So this next tip is for you. This one use lighter is apparently used in prisons all across the world and all you need to make it is a battery and a pack of gum. And I don't know if prisons actually give out gum, but maybe you could ask to transfer to one of those kind of old school musical prisons from the 50s where everyone leans on the wall and chews on gum all day, then you'll be all right. All right, I wanted to use five gum because I thought it would be funny if I made a joke about chewing five gum and ending up in prison, but it was 50 cents more expensive than this one and the joke wasn't that funny. So I think all we need to do is get the gum wrapper and cut it into a strip and place it across the positive and negative of the battery and then wait until it heats up. And all I'm doing is burning my fingers. And I don't know how to do this. So I reckon now I'm going to cut the foil like this. So the flow of electrons has to pass through a more concentrated strip of foil, which hopefully will offer more resistance and mean that it heats up more.
and I've successfully made a prison smoker, which hopefully means I get some fire. And there you have it, fire. So there you go. Hopefully with these hot tips, your next trip to the Slammer will be a little more entertaining. Oh, and you know what? I just thought of one more hot tip. Follow the rules in society so you can live a happy and fulfilling life free from the constraints of a brutal correctional system. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out my other stuff.